Donald Trump has been inaugurated as President of the United States. America is still divided. Students at Carlmont share their own opinion about how we can move on as a community. Uh, there is this uncertainty about what will follow. And so I did recognize this uncertainty. That is, I feel like, the, the most prominent thing that I've noticed in that people are still unsure, at least in our community, unsure about how, uh, what will follow this election and what will follow in the years to come. I feel like, uh, despite all the hate that Trump is promoting, there are a lot of people who are working to stand together and I think that's very touching. There's nothing I can do about it now, so I just want to make sure that my voice is heard mm -hmm. um, and that hopefully things go smoothly for the country continuing on. I don't feel like the entirety of America is necessarily in ruin. I do feel though that there is a subsection of America that is a little bit confused, that is unsure about their personal you know, future. And that has led to the rise of Trump. And I feel like with a little bit more communication, a little bit more interaction, people can help, can, we can help each other to understand what is confusing us so that we can better understand each other as opposed to you know, dividing each other. Well, I think the protesters or just the people who are holding up signs on the sides of the road that I heard about are certainly going in the right direction. The people who are making sure that we're still unified and uh, working to keep everyone together. I think that's what we should be doing. They should obviously stay united, um, but I think they do need to understand that at this point there's nothing you can do about Trump being president and, um, you know, being disrespectful towards him and insulting him is not going to help. So I think they need to accept the fact that he's president and hopefully just have hope that things will get better. Uh, I think we definitely need to come together and make it official that, you know, even though we have a president that has won his seat through discriminatory or controversial uh, dialogue, that we should come together and demonstrate that that is not going to stop us from uh, upholding to the values that make us who we are and that bring out the best of us. No matter what happens outside of Karawan and even with, uh, for in broader communities, at least at school we should be able to feel comfortable and free to express who we are and be respected for who we are. From Scott Center News, I'm Adriana Ramirez. Thank you for watching.